the enemy knows the exact place where by all the end of times prophecies are taking place so do you think esau was mistaken to envy uganda as the base of restoring the kingdom of yahuda the holy one of rwanda did not allow europeans to nest close to his dwelling so that the prophecy in rev 2:9 and rev 3:9 may be fulfilled when him says that western international medicine and science and technological advancement bourgeoned on negro's misery torture exploitation oppression you name it how many will believe him negro's have been serving as guinea pigs for research their increase and in multiplication is highly controlled by the wicked ones here is a proof besides that the skuji experiment there is more those serving the most high ought to scrutinize everything without sparing any tiny detail be it scientific political and even spiritual they must be well fed with global information and be kept updated with prophetic events who among you can give us an account of the suspicions surrounding the politics the deception revelation 129 of virus pandemics who is behind them and why curses from heaven above or man's mischief was this and tell us what you've learned africa is under siege but our watchmen are dumb dogs that cannot bark now let me impress you on how people can fulfill the wording of bible unconsciously your enemy can reveal your identity in joke like utterances away away how could you stand this tense lamentations 4:15 Someone said go away you are unclean men cry to them away away don't touch us when they flee and wander about people among the nations say they can stay here no longer lamentations 4:15 rwandans and many other africans know how is kept within the water ports bikuma calibes jar alabaster ceremonial speeches full of a sense of humor on part of in-laws marrying their children see tobit 10:8 the state of the bride before marriage virginity is a must nowadays rwandans have become civilized that is demonized or hellenized yugutanda custom was conducted there is no english word for it the act of serving your father in law as a replacement to a dowry let me give you an incentive stirring up your inquisitiveness towards digging deep into the capitalist decapul- dilemma so where are the dwelling places of other 11 tribes reuben simeon benjamin asher dan ephraim manasse So where is the real Decapolis? You've seen more than enough. Maps like this have been banned and names changed. However, Zar is also on the blink towards falling into the oblivion. Kings 8:21. Why Negroes are bearing white man's naming and the spirit behind it? Nothing is new under heaven. Ekel 1:9. On several occasion it was mentioned that earthly kingdoms have been likened to beasts in a prophetic jargon Daniel the prophet was one of those prophets who coded empires and kingdoms to beasts take a look at Daniel 7 7 and 19 for instance some of these beasts were assigned names of animals that were familiar to a people whose prophecy and testimony was poised dedicated to These names were like lions, leopards, bears, a trick for confusing negroes. Where in the whole world do bears cohabitate with lions, leopards, elephants? This is a deliberate way for Europeans to let themselves in the book. Maccabees 3:48. Among which nations do people bear names of their gods? Maybe Gordons, maybe Diodon, no joke. As for my people, Sotishness has swallowed them alive just as drunkard to the point they don't realize it who close kimenyi alexander's website 
who closed knowledge who is that brutish psalms 83:4 prophecy fulfilled eating a pork is an abomination many shall miss the kingdom of heaven of such strange customs recall that the domestic pig were introduced to africa by jesuits europeans rome through grislam and media hollywoodland western politics and diplomacy as well as their science are all derivatives of ancient egyptians sudanese with craft there are many tricks done targeting at a one people just to bamboozle cast a spell on them usa europe uk and australia practice sorceries chiefly to conquer the nations here is the law and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee for the merchants were the great men of the earth for by the sorceries were all nations deceived revelation 1823 to conquer the negroes one has to lure them into lurking european mannerism being civilized hence thereby losing their identity and their imanas laws african taboos i can't say more than enough from now on you may never allow anyone to deceive you just imagine how many scientists and researchers labored in vain like the ethiopians here selling lies can someone help what's in ugandan for gushika the closest meaning in english is enchanting casting a spell on bewitch spell bind but this time for forcing someone to lay or fall in love with the culprit how about for kishawili speakers please help sir 431 let not thine hand be stretched out to receive and shut when you throw shoulders repay sir 819 open not thine heart to every man lest he requite thee with a shrewd turn people must remember that india when it was still attached to africa as the ancient babylon from ethiopia unto india esther 11 and esther 89 intense trade of various commodities minerals cultural exchange animal introduction and husbandry took place this happened long before any caucasian man ever stepped his foot on the african land india not only has some cultural trend of africa but also she has african people and their animals lines included that is why many indians look like ethiopians and the later only natives like rwandans at the same time are you not as children of the ethiopians unto me or children of israel saith the lord have not i brought up israel out of the land of egypt and the philistines from kafter and the syrians from kir amos 97 a silent and loving woman is a gift of the lord and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed sirach 2614 a whore is a woman who had an sexual intercourse with more than one man to young men If a new pair of shoes and a second hand one are both presented to you which one would you choose keep the answer to yourself marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled but whole mongers are adulterers imana will judge hebrews 13:4 neither can you search out decipher the plans of the most high nor understand the bible with european mentality for my thoughts are not your thoughts Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Isaiah 15:5-8. A child is given a simulating toy handy for safeguard of the real pricey parent gadget. So is the fake Bible version in the hands of a negro and other feeble-minded creatures, so as not to disturb the peace of the lost ruling kingdom. Daniel 7:7. Now you may wonder what is this kind of version of the Bible that makes it that terribly priceless. Stay tuned, the first is yet to come. You won't believe your eyes. Arabs used to call him Shaitani. You can guess why? In Tyre or Kusi, Lyon never allowed strangers to come and move freely in the Holy Land. 
till the white man rose in power with a stick that spew fire by then the glory of the poor had departed of the lord was no longer with negroes they from angola in a dialect of holy lingo they called it kusi while those shaitanis calling themselves jewish call him kafir a variant of kafir umu kafir a word from which africa comes from jurith 1513 and they put a garland of olive upon her and her maid that was with her and she went before all the people in the dance leading all the women and all the men of israel followed in their armor with garlands and with songs in their mouths judith 16 123 then judith began to sing this thanksgiving in all israel and all the people sang after her song of praise and judith said begin unto my imana with timbrels sing unto my lord with cymbals tune unto him a new psalm exalt him and call upon his name for imana breaketh the barrels for among the camps in the midst of the people he hath delivered me out of the hands of them that persecuted me remember that there is a river brook named after nkosi in uganda a country where those jewish people wanted to settle forever but mr inter lines never recognized those creatures as native at any period of time this great secrecy never makes it to the mainstream history however you can probe for it if you are an african ugandan native dig deep into a tedious research and you won't delay to figure out that most if not all of the names assigned to the creator the beginning and the end are actually names of idols of other nations for instance the name god is a family cousin of other names such as god good god gut god goid which code for an animal domestic by large goat has it ever crossed your mind why the head of a goat in a pentagon star is often displayed here and there yes the pentagon star is everywhere and it stands for a good reason that the enemy won't reveal to you what is the reversible anagram of the word god before the romano greeks learned about the holy people and their customs what is it that which they worshiped have they ever told you anything about it why another good example is what chinese assimilate to the most high they assign him the following name shang di whoever shang di is not the king of heaven or sky moabites have different gods some zulu and sosha also worship the queen of heaven or ishtar by trying to assign her a divine title as follows nikosi kazi what codes for goddess in romano greek lingo conclusion i pray day and night that rwandans call the most high according to the descriptive names used by their ancestors even when they are speaking foreign tongues let words like dieu god dios elohim shaddai and all other foreign names please do no do no longer listen to the lies and deceit of your slave master your brother the one interpreted by the heathen and messiah or jesus christ was not born on the winter solstice aka christmas noel the enemy made them sing these deceits rwandans ancient forefathers never knew these abominations from europe neither the present oldest generation our grandparents who are still alive today therefore warn the following tickle your insights if thy brother the son of thy mother or thy son or thy daughter or the wife of thy bosom or thy friend which is as thine own soul in these these secretly saying let us go and serve other gods which thou hast not known though nor thy fathers deuteronomy 13:6 so who enticed us to follow european god will you stone me if i pointed a finger to our elders who tasted pig's meat by calling it holy and received roman priesthood and pastorship and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark 
doctrines and mannerism that go against the holy law of the beast and them that worship his image these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone revelation 1920 whoever does such things shall be killed without mercy for whoever does such things shall be cut off from the surface of the earth can you figure out the hole in scarlet and blue purple who rides the beast with ten and seven it just came out of blue didn't it the present knowledge is hidden from the world these literature are never to cross the heavily guarded museum but Rwandians do not know that their ancient kings had more than these far beyond what they can remember as it is written Matthew 7:20 thus by their fruit you'll recognize them Matthew 7:16 Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? So the New World Order and other similar labels such as Get Together International Fellowship Global Union can never work. Even an Ethiopian emperor known in the Bible as King Nimrud did not succeed. Yet the Most High reckoned him as the most powerful man-hunter ever. Imana put a huge and a great difference among people this is merely shown by their cultural values beliefs and manners i therefore call upon all rwandans and brothers to come out of all religions that their forefathers never knew they include all christianity systems for the heavens be my witness they do not know imana's ways they practice roman and greek witchcraft and meddle it with the book of covenant whose history comes from a people zephania 3:10 jeremiah 4:30 and with thou art spoiled what will thou do thou thou closest thyself with crimson thou thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold thou thou rentent thy face with painting in vain shall thou make thyself fair Thy lovers will despise thee they'll seek thy life There are other nations that have not heard of his fame they only worship a white Jesus made up of their own counterfeited religion and deceit I'll set a sign among them and I'll send some of those who survived to the nations to Tarshish to the Libyans and Lindians famous are famous as archers to Tubal and Greece and to the distant islands that have not heard of my fame or seen my glory they'll proclaim my glory among the nations Isaiah 66:19 ain't wise men and nobles and princes of this world empire confused can anyone explain fully what's going on but the prophets you chase out of the country gave you all the details has any other country managed to do the same throw a stone on me the holy one of rwanda is teaching other nations that day has come the day to be remembered forever go now write it on a tablet for them inscribe it on a scroll that for the days to come it may be an everlasting witness isaiah 38 there is nothing happening without imana the most high's own will and this is in fulfillment for the foretold prophecy even the so called rwandan genocide had been permitted by him prosecution will continue till him seats on the father's throne in righteousness you will be established tyranny will be far from you you will have nothing to fear terror will be far removed it will not come near you isaiah 54:14 If anyone does attack you it will not be doing whoever attacks you will surrender to you Isaiah 54:15 compare with Revelation 17:17 17, 17. Everyone is looking to molest this deserted woman but why and I'll visit upon her the days of Balim all these western religions wherein she burned incense to them and she decked herself with earrings and her jewels African gold diamond bluishy etc and she went after her lovers europeans chinese japanese arabs 
and forget me, saith the Lord. Wherefore I have delivered her into the hand of her lovers. The Western Empire is now in Africa for ransacking and onslaught. Into the hand of Assyrians, history repeats itself. Upon whom she dotted, Ezekiel 23 9. She is crying out loud for her help, but who can? She weepeth sore in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she hath none to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They are become her enemies. Lamentations 1 2. Nehemiah 9 36 37 is very important verse, prophesying why Africa, through proxy kings, the so called African presidents, pays tribute to the kings of this empire Europe, USA, UK, Israel, Canada, Arabia, China, Japan, India. Maybe you think there is a change. Go to Africa, then you shall see. Proxy rebels are helping the enemy to continue their scheme. Rwandan genocide was staged by British, Americans, and Israel. Am I lying? Viewer discretion is highly advised. In this historical movie, which reflects real facts, Adamites were scrutinizing a true Hebrew woman on her private parts. They were amazed to the elongation of her secrets. That is a tradition that Hebrew Israeli women copied from Egypt. Nowadays, Sudan, like all Hebrew Rwandan ladies, have cherished this tradition, yet the Most High didn't approve of it. For the unlearned audience, the entries shall and will deserve a careful attention. The use of these two words in the King James Version of the Bible is extremely crucial. Even native English speakers find it difficult to discern to proper use of them unless they belong to those in dark powers. I'll come back to their usage in the oncoming topics. The highlighted words are intuitively coded to help build up an algorithm to decipher the sealed prophecy. Notice a lady holding a staff, a very powerful hint, Zechariah 11.10. Then I took my staff, stick or rod, called favor and broke it, revoking the covenant I had made with all the nations. You may equally notice that it is a strange thing for a woman to wear pants trousers in Imana's sight. So, we beguiled the women to dare put on breeches and other men's outfits.